you already know, I was in uh, Dallas earlier this weekend and uh, just another power packed weekend, another power packed time. Amen. So continue to share this on your wall. Let your friends know the man of God, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim is here. And I want to prophesy to you that your enemies shall suddenly disappear before you. Those who pursued you, those who chased after you, every wall of opposition is going to suddenly fall. Let me tell you, I want to prophesy over your life. I believe God is decluttering. God is making room. God is bringing you into the next level, to, into the next realm. Come on, somebody. God is making room for you. And things are being removed in your life. I want to say removal. There is a removal taking place in your life, in the spirit realm. And I want to prophesy over you because I believe that there is a removal taking place all across the earth. The winds of God, the winds of change, the angels of the Lord, Lord Shabbat, the angels of the Lord God Most High are being released across the earth to begin to remove the clutter. I want to say remove, to begin to remove the excess, the baggage, the warfare. He's beginning to declutter and he's beginning to remove things from your mind and your heart. Can I get an amen? So today I want to prophesy that there is a divine removal taking place in your life and all across the earth. So I have a word to share over you, to share to you. So begin to comment below where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes, share this on your wall because this is a now word. I'm telling you, it's fresh off the press. It is hot out of the press and I feel the fire of God, the power of God, amen. So begin to tap into the room, the grace that's present here. And I want you to begin to even pray in the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Pray in the Holy Ghost because there is an increase of the fire, the power, the glory of God, amen. I see our good friend, Dr. Jen Malin here. God bless you, woman of God. I saw Dr. Jen Malin and by the way, uh, our show with Dr. Jen Malin is live today and tomorrow, today and tomorrow, the 7th and the 8th. Don't you love those dates? Remember, God is also a God of numbers, amen? He's the God of numbers. If he was not a God of numbers, then why would there be a book called Numbers? Come on, somebody, right? So there is a whole book called Numbers where it begins to number the generations and number the fathers, the heads of the families. And why is that important? Because God is a God who counts. He counts your name. He is an accounting God. He begins to count his sheep, his children. This one is of Zion. This one is not. This one is the wheat. This one is going to be removed like the shaft. I'm telling you, there's a divine removal. Era brokata that is taking place. And so God is a God of numbers. Amen. So today and tomorrow, the 7th and the 8th, my show is actually being aired uh, on Dr. Jen Malin's show called Come Home with Jen on a Christian television network, CTN, Come Home with Jen. I had the great honor of being with the woman of God, Dr. Jen Malin, and she is commenting here, God bless you, woman of God. I had the great honor of being with Dr. Jen Malin uh, at the studio in Tampa, Florida area, just about two months ago or so, uh, and we taped two shows, so today and tomorrow, all right? And we're going to begin to pin the link and the information for you to catch that live on television or on social media. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Jabara Brosa. Amen. JCSC Castro says, I just got your book. Thank you and God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So make sure you watch that program with myself, Dr. Jen Malin, for we talked about two very important things. We talked about the new breed that God's raising up in the hour, which is based on my book called The New Breed, amen? The new breed of wonder workers, reformers, and revivalists. And also the second show uh, was based on Hanukkah and this year end season. Who's believing for Hanukkah miracles? I'm telling you, expect Hanukkah miracles. I feel faith in the room today. I feel the power of God. And even today, I destroy every obstruction of justice any obstruction, oppression, opposition, anything that has opposed you, antagonized you shall be removed. And God is opening the blinders. God is removing the blinders from your eyes. So today there's a divine removal. Amen. And I want to decree, declare over you that in this month of December of Kislev in the Hebrew month, there's going to be Hanukkah miracles. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. So make sure we just pinned on the comments there. Amen. 
my interview with Dr. Jen Malin. God bless you, woman of God. We did two incredible programs, which is aired today live on television and social media, and even tomorrow, the 7th and the 8th, two different shows. So if you're going to watch that, say, I'm going to watch. Amen. I'm going to watch. I want you to comment below. If you're going to watch that, the live, amen, you can just click on the link that was pinned here and say, I'm going to watch. Amen. But today I want to bring you a fresh word, friends. Of course, I want you to watch the two programs we did with Christian Television Network, CTN, Dr. Jen Malin. I want you to watch that because there's a powerful grace anointing on those two programs. But today, as I'm here in Hawaii, as I'm here in the land of Aloha, oh, Rababa, I feel the fire of God. I wanted to declare over you, there is a divine removal that's coming to your life. So friends, I want you to tag your friends. I want you to share this on your wall with your groups. Because in a few minutes, the man of God, Dr. Pastor Benham, I'm going to begin to prophesy and release in the spirit the spirit of removal. I'm telling you, the spirit of removal. I need you to clap your hands and give us some hearts and likes. There is a spirit of removal that is coming across the earth. And this is not a bad thing, friends. Let me tell you, this is a Holy Ghost thing because God is doing it. God is removing in the background. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to watch Rebecca Butler. Thank you. Definitely watch Laura Alanis. Amen. Hallelujah. Friends, I want you to comment below where you're watching from so I could give you some shout outs. And Ms. Dolores, just keep this pinned in the comments. Amen. But friends, comment below where you are watching from and I'll give you some shout outs because I'm declaring fire, revival, and impartation from the land, the city, the region that you yourself are connected to and are representing. Can I get an amen? I'm telling you, friends, God is moving and breathing all across the earth. Shabbat. So expect miracles today. And friends, help me today to break the 300 mark. Amen. Los Lunes, New Mexico. Oh, Vicky from UAE. God bless you. Michelle from South Africa. Glory. I saw Texas in the house. DC in the house. Gabron, Botswana. Lisa Lopez, California. Banning, California. Covina, California. I got Cali strong today. Hallelujah. Tampa in the house. Canada. God bless you. Morum Kun, San Diego, New Mexico. The Lord says, I'm going to watch. Amen. Jababa, thank you, Tiffany. You're going to watch. Rabba, the nations are tapping in Liberia. God bless you, Maima. Oh, Prophet Ivana from downtown Los Angeles. Subi from South Africa. San Diego, Lisa Lopez. Amen. Christina from South Africa. Western Cape, South Africa. Yolandi. Rock Springs, Texas. South Africa. Lizelle Pick. Dallas, Texas. Amen. Ha, Florida. South Africa. Aaron Chanel. Shoo, Rakata, Francis Smith, Limpoma. And we just broke the 200 mark, so praise God for that. Give the Lord some hearts and likes for that. South Africa, Charlotte, God bless you. Pomona, California, Wendy, Corona, California, Lupe. Well, we got California strong today, New Jersey in the house. Moving to Florida by the end of the month. God bless you, Colleen. Oh, Alan from East London, South Africa. Glory, Chesseline from Florida, Abilene, God bless you and your family from UK, Lisa from Durban, South Africa. Hall of the Nations are tapping in Louisiana in the house, the Bayou, Richmond, Virginia, Kathy Ann, Elaine from Lebanon, Pennsylvania, oh yes, can't wait to be with you in that area in March. Des from Moines, Iowa, Ontario, Canada, Mary Cobb, God bless you. Georgia, praise God. Mary from South Africa, Lebanon, amen. Hello there, Prophet Ben from South Africa, Kimberly. Whew. Zerline from South Africa, Reno, Nevada, amen. South Africa, Hanny, Venter, Oklahoma, into his house. Continue to build up the room and the atmosphere, my friends. Because in a few minutes, I'm going to release the word of the Lord. I'm telling you, suddenly they shall be removed from your life. Suddenly the clutter, the debris, the fatigue, the nonsense, the warfare will be removed suddenly in your life. So continue to tag somebody and share this on your wall. Faisalabad, Zindabad. I have preached there in Faisalabad, Pakistan. Korakao, hallelujah. Balitio from South Africa. God bless you. My South Africa family is strong today. Nigeria, Trinidad, Tobago. Good to see you, Sheldon. Oh, we got the UK, London and the house. Botswana. Hallelujah. Zababa. Oh, Rabese, South Africa, Alice Govender, God bless you. Oh, na 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 Bese, Rabrande. She na 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 Mande, Rebe. Continue to help build up the atmosphere. Anthony Carabayo, good to see you from Bronx, NY. 
I'm telling you, friends, suddenly they will be removed from your life. So continue to share this room. Let's build up the atmosphere, the anticipation, expectation. Tap into the glory of God. I'm telling you, friends, God is moving. And in a minute, I'm going to begin to release the word of the Lord. Sonia from Florida. Juliana from New Zealand. God bless you. By the way, I will be ministering in Samoa in the month of July this coming year. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. There's a lot of fire in the airwaves. Absolutely. I feel the fire of God. Guyana in the house. Amen. Shoot. Ruska tarabra hera na 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 bande rebe de de shurebe be be he. Thank you, Subi. God bless you. Love you too. Ha. Huh. Casey M O, Kansas City, Missouri. Good to see you live again. Glory be to God. Well, friends, I want you to lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for this word that will be released, and I thank you, Father. You are removing every clutter every warfare, every wall of opposition and witchcraft in Jesus' name. Come Holy Spirit, thank you for the renewal and the removal in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Dr. Jen Malin. God bless you. Make sure you follow Dr. Jen Malin of the Come Home with Jen show on Christian Television Network. Great friend, woman of God in these end times. Amen. Who here knows? God's raising up new voices in these end times. The new breed. I'm telling you, young people, old people, fat people, skinny people of every single race, ethnic background. The Lord is raising up a new breed. And I'm so impressed and encouraged to see the plethora of young people. And yes, they may not be as mature or strong in the spirit, but God is doing it, and God is doing the work, and God is strengthening. So there is a new breed, my friends, that will offend the old guard, the old religious guard. There's a new breed expanding and releasing the word of the Lord across the earth through social media airwaves. Good to see you, Sokoba. God bless you, my son. Love you dearly from Uganda. Arabasa. But God is doing it. And you are a part of the new breed. If you believe it, say amen. I said to you, if you are a part of the new breed, I want you to comment, I am the new breed. Because God is raising up a new breed from Nigeria, Botswana, Liberia, Trinidad, Tobago, Canada, New Zealand. All around the world, God is raising up a new breed. Amen. And friends, I'm very encouraged. Of course, this weekend I was in Dallas. We had two great nights of ministry in Dallas. And some of you caught my lives that I broadcasted from the great city of Dallas. Shoot. And uh, of course, we celebrated Pastor Benny Hinn's 70th birthday gala. That was an incredible time of celebration, impartation, feasting in the glory of God. I mean, the food was good, but literally just honoring the man of God and celebrating Jesus Christ for one of the greatest generals that the world has ever seen was a huge blessing. But friends, I have a word to share with you. Some say prophesy. I have a word to share with you because I believe right now there is a removal taking place and I need you to give us some hearts and likes and I need you to share this on your wall. Help me to break the 300 mark today. Amen. Help me to break the 300 mark. I believe that this word is for you and all of those that are connected with you. But there is a removal. I want to say removal. There is a removal taking place, my friends. And let me tell you, I believe in this month and in this season, your enemies are going to be removed from your life. God is suddenly going to remove every obstruction of justice, seeds of corruption, seeds of evil wickedness that have been planted in your field. God is going to uproot and remove. God is going to uproot and remove hindering spirits, the spirit of delay over your life. You felt like you had a block. What is a block? A block is when your pipes are clogged up with junk. And that junk, it could be sin, it could be stress, anxiety, it could be demons. But when your pipes or your wells are clogged up, the Lord wants to unclog. He wants to declutter. He wants to remove. He wants to unplug and uproot. 
And I believe right now there is a spirit of uprooting and removing. Remember, before you step into the new, God will remove. I'm going to repeat that again. Before you step into the new, God will remove. And let me tell you, God is removing some things from your life. Personally and governmentally. There is a divine removal coming in the government of the United States. There is an uprooting and a removing of evil, wicked, corrupt seeds of power in the government. And I believe, friends, even as we're about to transition into 2023 very soon, and as we are in the Hanukkah season, someone say Hanukkah, as we are in the Hanukkah season, I believe there is a great removal that is coming. Different vacancies are going to happen. Even now, I see it in the spirit, okay? I see houses being vacant. I see homes being vacant. Do you know what that means? That means that people are going to be uh, evicted. So there are eviction notices. There are eviction orders. And there are evictions and there are eviction orders taking place. So certain people are going to be removed, squatters, squatting spirits, are going to be removed from different homes, offices, places, realms, and even seats. And I believe some of you, listen, I need you to hear this. If you are in the Lord, then you can expect that the righteous will never be removed. The Bible says, those who are called by his name will stand on the rock word foundation, which means you will never be shaken and you will never be removed. If you're with me today, say amen. Someone say, preach Dr. Ben. So I believe right now there is a removal and there is an eviction notice. Someone say amen. I declare an eviction notice and an eviction order is coming to your enemies. There is gonna be an uprooting and a removal. It's going to be suddenly removed from your life. Amen. I feel the Holy Ghost. So certain people are going to be removed and there's going to be vacancies. Say vacancies. What does that mean? Before Esther was nominated and elected in the days of Purim, the Vashti spirit had to be removed. Remember this. Before the new comes the removal. Something must be emptied in order for it to be filled again. And that's what's happening with many of you. Many of you feel empty. Many of you feel like you are at the lowest of the low. Many of you feel like you have hit rock bottom, if that's you, say amen. But many of you watching, you feel like you've hit rock bottom. You are being emptied right now. Hallelujah. But when you become emptied, that's where you become filled. Someone say, preach, Dr. Ben. What does that mean? That means when something is removed, the ancient strongholds, principalities, have held power in Hawaii, the Democrats, the Democrats. They have held power in Los Angeles and Seattle, Portland. These entities have held power in these seats. Even the old guard of religious Pharisees, Sadducees, even the old guard, the old watch, the old wineskin has held guard in the religious systems of the church, the religious systems of the world. Someone say amen. And those old guards, when they are removed, then you can step into the new. So many of you, you're about to step into the new. But something must be emptied. Something must be removed. Something must be decluttered. Someone say amen. And I believe right now God is about to declutter. God is about to clean your pipes. Amen. The Bible talks about the plumb line. And God is about to release the plumb line. Hallelujah. What does that mean? Get ready for a flushing. Get ready for a rushing and a flushing and get ready for God to rush in. Someone say hallelujah. So begin to pray to the Holy Ghost because I feel the power of God. And that was my introduction for today's broadcast. But things are being removed in our lives. Amen. And I want to go to some passages here and then I'm going to articulately articulate. I'm going to meticulously articulate five things that God is removing in this season. And I need you to listen, amen, because I'm talking to you. I'm, I'm releasing a prophetic rhema word to your life. So if you're with me today, say amen. All right, first and foremost, Isaiah 41, verse 12. Isaiah 41, 12. Hallelujah. Ha, ha. The Bible says, you shall seek those who contend with you, but you shall not find them. Those who war against you, they shall be nothing at all. Someone say nothing. Your enemies who came against you. You will look for them, but they will become nothing at all. The King James Version says they will perish. They become perished, perishable, like fruits 
vegetables, you leave them outside, and after a few days, they begin to perish. They decay, they die, it withers, it becomes nothing. So Isaiah 41 verse 12, you will look for your enemies. You will look for those opposing things, those problems, those issues. And you will look and it will become nothing. It will disappear and vanish before your eyes. If you receive it, say, I receive it. Isaiah 41 verse 12, you shall seek those who contend against you, but you shall not find them. Those who war against you, you they shall be nothing at all. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy to you. The things that bother you this year will no longer bother you in 2023. I'm going to prophesy to you. I'm prophesying to you right now. The things that bothered you this year will not bother you in 2023. God is putting it to an end. God is putting it to a rest. God is putting your enemies to rest. They shall become nothing. They shall vanish, disappear before your very eyes. Every false accuser of the brethren, every lying, slippery, serpentine spirit that has come against you, those things that bothered you, the lack of finances, uh, people uh, being Jezebels or Judases, those issues will no longer be issues in your life. If you receive it, say amen. So God is saying they will disappear. They will vanish. It's going to become nothing. I want you to think about right now, what is the most difficult thorn in your flesh right now? What is the greatest antagonizing thorn in your life right now? What is the biggest elephant, the biggest issue, the biggest problem? What is your biggest thorn problem mountain in your life right now? Boom, it's become nothing. Boom, it's being removed. God is removing mountain moving power over your life. Every mountain will be moved. Every seed, high altar, asherah pole, every seat of obstruction will be removed and will be brought low. Every high place will be brought low. Every low place will be brought up. So in this month, in this season, in this moment, God is removing every enemy opposing spirits of your life. The Bible says they shall become nothing. So I want you to hear this. One day, the enemy feels like a mountain. Then boom, it becomes nothing. It becomes a plain. Or in other words, one day it sounds like a lion. It is as big and terrifying, as roaring as a lion one day. But the next day, it becomes a little chihuahua. Someone say, preach, Dr. Ben. I'm telling you, friends, it shall become nothing before your eyes. Your enemies shall become nothing. Whatever was against you is becoming nothing. I prophesy. Whatever was bothering you, molesting you, abusing you, coming against you, whatever was attacking you, antagonizing you, it shall become nothing. Now, suddenly, in Jesus' name, if you receive it, say amen. Let's go to the next verse here. Isaiah 40, verse 3. And I believe this is a great, important time of preparation right now. He's preparing us for glory. Isaiah 40, verse 3. A voice cries... In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. True. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Hallelujah. Someone said, preach Dr. Ben. My friends, God is preparing the way and he's making things straight in your life. Someone say amen. Someone say righteousness. Do you know what that means? That means every crooked place is being brought into alignment. Whatever is off is becoming right. Whatever is off is becoming right. Whatever is off is coming into alignment. Whatever is off, something is off in your life. You're like, Jesus, I cannot put my finger on it. I cannot point, pin it, pinpoint it. Rakat, something's off, something. It's not the same. Something is off, something's unusual. But God says, I'm bringing alignment and order and I'm bringing clarity. God is bringing clarity and God is decluttering your mind. Hallelujah. So the spirit of righteousness is making things right in your life, which means he's removing the stones that are set up for you to stumble. Now, I want you to imagine this, all right? Uh, many times I've, I've driven in Tijuana, Mexico, and in Tijuana, Mexico, there are a lot of potholes, okay? The roads are horrible, all right? A lot of the roads are very bad, very horrible. So there's a lot of potholes, big uh, bump uh, bumpers, uh, and there's a lot of just cats, dogs, madness, right? However, those things will delay you as you're trying to drive forward. Those things will delay you. So God is removing every stone. The stones that were thrown against you, God will use it to build an altar in your life. I'm going to repeat that again. The stones of judgment, 
that were thrown against you. God will use it to build an altar of sacrifice in your life. Someone say sacrifice. Someone say fire. Amen. So I believe in this season, God is removing the snares and the traps. He's removing the unseen obstacles. It's the unseen things that are the most dangerous. It's the little foxes that are the most dangerous to the garden. It's the unseen little things that are the most dangerous. Amen. Isn't it incredible? You're driving and it doesn't matter how beautiful, how expensive, luxurious of a car you're driving. But a little nail can pop and flatten a tire. Are you hearing me today? Doesn't matter how beautiful, how expensive, doesn't matter what quality, what name brand the tire of, on your car are. However, one little nail can flatten and deflate and bring your car oof, to a halt. I'm talking to you, friends, because God is removing every unseen enemy. He is removing every obstruction of justice. He's removing every demon that's been hidden under the veil of of Christianity. Every hiding witch, every hiding warlock, every wolf and sheep clothing, hallelujah, every jazzy wazzy bell that acts like your good friend, that's trying to come close to you, trying to sucker and pucker up to you, to destroy you and to be a cannibal. It is being brought low and is being removed in your life. Someone say amen. Whew. I feel the Lord right now. Lord, help me to finish this word. John 13, 27. John 13, 27. Then after Judas had taken the morsel, Hazatan entered into him. And Yeshua said to him, what you are going to do, do quickly. Jesus says to Judas, what you're going to do, do it quickly. Someone say quickly. What you're going to do, do it quickly. What does that mean? Jesus is saying, whatever you're about to do, do it quickly. What does that mean? Things are going to happen quickly. Things are going to be removed from your life quickly. You struggled with this issue for years. The generational curse, the generational sin addiction, the scapegoat, the witchcraft, the warfare that was all around you for years. You struggled with it. You dealt with it. It was over you, on you. But soon, quickly, it will be done. Quickly, it will be removed. Someone say amen. So get ready for God to quickly remove the Judas from your life. Jesus said to Judas, whatever you're going to do, do it quickly. So there's going to be a quick removal from your life. Someone say hallelujah. Amen. So those are my three verses today. And I want to give you five things that God is removing in the spirit right now. If you're with me today, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Hallelujah. I want to give you five things that God is removing from your life right now. Amen. If you're with me, say hallelujah. Let's build up the atmosphere and help me to break the 300 mark today. Hallelujah. So number one, the first thing that God is removing from your life is fake friends. Let me tell you, those haters, those enemies, those cynics and critics, those fake friends, your frenemies are being removed from your life. The first thing that God is beginning to remove, and I need you to hear this. Amen. I need you to follow me here today. God is beginning to remove certain people that are toxic. Certain people that are gifted, but do not have the right character. God is beginning to remove some hidden enemies in people around you. So there is a removal. What does that mean? Hear me now. What does that mean? That means some people are actually going to die. Some people are dying, passing on to glory. So many people are being removed from the church, from government, from politics, from business, from the face of the earth. So there is a removal of people. A removal of people. So there is a removal of people taking place right now. And even in the governments of society. I declare a removal of false presidents, a removal of corrupt governments, a removal of corrupt government parties. There is an exposure and a removal of people in your life that should not be. A removal of people in the government, in the world, that should not be. So there is a removal, like I said in the beginning, a vacancy of seat, 
a vacancy in the office, a vacancy in uh, in the space. There is vacant spaces. And even in the spirit, I saw more houses being vacant, more office spaces, buildings being vacant. So there's going to be more and more vacancies, even as the economy is crashing. And let me tell you, friends, we have not even yet entered the height of this economic crash of this Great Depression. We have not even entered the height of it. So get ready, friends. But there is a removal and there is a vacancy that is coming and taking place in Jesus' name. So there is a removal of people. So don't be shocked if certain people are removed, not just from your Facebook, even though some of you, you need to do this. Listen, stop listening to phony baloney people. Stop giving trolls access to your life. You need to unfriend. You need to block. You need to let it go. Stop allowing certain things to fill up space in your life. Shoo. Remember, before you step into the new, you need to remove. The removal leads you into the new. So God is in, begin to declutter, let go of the people. There's a removal of people happening all across the earth. If you receive it, say amen. If this is bearing witness with your spirit, say hallelujah. So there is a removal of people taking place on the earth. A removal of false presidents, of evil, corrupt government workers. There's a removal coming. Hallelujah. If you believe it, say hallelujah. Number two, the second thing that God is removing in your life is a warfare and opposition. The warfare and the opposition. The second thing that God is removing in your life in this season is the warfare and the opposition. Many of you have felt opposition. You felt warfare. Let me tell you, the last few years, I mean, many people did not make it after COVID, post-COVID. Many people did not make it through all of that nonsense. But here we are today, praise God. Either you become stronger or you become less and less. The Bible says David grew more and more powerful. Amen. And that's my decree over you. You will become more and more powerful every season, everywhere you go from glory to glory. Amen. But the second thing that God's removing is a warfare and the opposition. Some of the warfare is in your life because of the people you've allowed in your life. Because you have given it permission. It's permissible. But is it beneficial? So some of the things are bringing warfare and opposition in your life, maybe because of certain people you've allowed in your domain, in your territory. But there is a removal of warfare and opposition. What does that mean? Some of you just, you're experiencing closed doors. Some of you, you are experiencing lack. Oh, I feel the Lord, help me. Some of you are experiencing sadness and depression. Mind games, attacks. So there is a removal of the warfare. People maliciously gossip, slander, backbite, try to close doors against you on your life, try to make you look bad. But God is beginning to remove that witchcraft and that warfare and that opposition. Jesus, Jesus, pray with me, people of God. Jesus, he's removing, he's removing. He's removing the witchcraft and the warfare the opposition over your life. Manda Broska Thomas Kura Branda de Dosha. If you receive it, say amen. I feel a removing. I feel a shaking, an uprooting, and an unplugging. And guess what? Some people have soul ties with you, they have manipulated their witchcraft into your soul. So now you're tied, you're bound to them in soul or the spirit. But God is breaking it. Deny access, access denied. To every reoccurring cycle, to every reoccurring pattern, every cycle and pattern of obstruction and demonic destruction is being closed now in Jesus' name. If you believe it, say amen, Jesus. So the second thing 
that God is removing is the warfare on your life. Amen. He's removing warfare. <sighs> Prepare the way of the Lord. Every stone will be removed. Every crooked place will be made straight. Jesus, you will look back and see that your enemies have become nothing. Shout out, la, 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 la. If you believe or receive it, say amen. My goodness. Lord, help me to finish this because I'm getting wrecked right now. Help me to finish this word today. Jesus. The third, <laughs> the third area of removal that God's doing right now. The third thing. Jesus. Let's just pray to the Holy Ghost. I feel the Lord so strong. Jesus. I'm removing, I'm moving, I'm removing, I am moving, says God. I'm removing, says the Lord. I'm removing the haters, the critics, the cynics, the blocks, the blockages. I'm removing from your life, says God, even from your memory, I am removing it. Even from your memory, I'm removing it. As far as the east is from the west, that's how far he has removed our transgressions from us. As far as the east is from the west, you can't find it. No one, I can't find it. As far as the east is from the west, that's how far he's removed our transgressions from us. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hey, hey, Ruska Taraba. Shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Jesus, my goodness. The third area of removal that's happening right now. And if you believe it, give me some hearts and likes, my friends. My goodness. Help us to break the 300 number. Come on, somebody. Let's break the 300 number right now. The third area of removal is the mind fog, the brain fog. What does that mean? The oppression in your mind. You feel stressed. You're filled with anxiety, depression, oppression, mind games. You're being attacked in your mind. Lies of the enemy have infiltrated your minds. You're a loser. You're this, you're that. I break that off of you. But the mind games, the brain fog, where your brain, your mind is just tired. That's why the Bible says, repent, renew your mind. Renew our minds. Amen. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12, we must transform our minds and not be conformed to the ways of the world. So God is removing the lies and the heaviness and the brain fog in your mind. The brain fog in your mind. You're tired. You want to give up. You're confused. You're confused. You feel all over the place. You feel like you're going insane in the membrane. You feel like you're going cray cray. You're going cuckoo for cocoa puff. You feel like you feel stressed, anxiety, attacked in your mind. God is removing the brain fog. He is decluttering your mind. <sighs> 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 He's removing the lies from your mind. That's why we plead the blood of Jesus over our mind. The doorposts of our minds. That's why we wear and bear the helmet of salvation. So I declare every lie and spirit of anxiety. Praise God, we broke the 300 mark today. Amen. We have to labor for that. But God is removing every lie and spirit of anxiety from your mind. Hallelujah. You feel like you can't think. You're so tired, so stressed. All you want to do is cry and go to sleep. You just want to curl up in the fetal position. Crawl under your bed, under your bed sheets. 
and you just feel lonely, you feel cornered, you feel all alone. That's what Jezebel does to the prophets. But I'm telling you, friends, God will meet you in the cave. God is meeting you in that place and in that space. Amen. And I'm telling you, friends, God is removing the lies, the witchcraft on your mind, the heaviness, the oppression, the, the depression. He's removing it from your mind. I want you to put your hand over your head and I want you to repeat this after me. Say, Jesus, I receive clarity over my mind. You have given me power, love, and a sound mind. I release the shalom of God over my mind in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, we bring low every high thing that is posed against us in our mind. <laughs> Hallelujah. You have the mind of Christ. You live and move and operate and are seated from another higher level. Amen. Number four. I want you to hear me now, friends. The fourth area of removal that God's doing right now. If you're with me today, say amen. The fourth area of removal that God's doing right now is he is removing financial drainage. Financial poverty. I want you to say preach, Dr. Ben. He's removing financial drainage financial poverty the locusts that constantly eat your wealth the enemy spirits of poverty religion spending commercialism the enemy spirits that continue to tax steal and drain your money your opportunities god is removing the financial drainage in your life. Someone say, preach like demand. Financial drainage. What does that mean? That means that you continuously feel like financially money's being taken and stolen from your life. Like you're losing money. You're making money, but you're losing money. Financial blessings are coming in, but it keeps getting stolen. What, is, what does that mean? There's lawsuits. You get caught up in lawsuits, you get fired, you're working for evil, unjust, wicked bosses. People make promises to you and they do not deliver. They say, I'm going to give you X and Y, Z, I'm gonna bless you in this way, you know, but then they do not deliver. They steal money for their fraudulent, evil, scam artists. Every financial drainage is being removed from your life. Jody Chetty, be delivered from gambling issues in Jesus' name. So let me tell you, friends, there is financial drainage. Even the taxes, I mean, what is America doing? These globalist elitists are intentionally trying to destroy our economy. Intentionally destroying our economy. By sending billions of dollars to Zelensky in Ukraine, it's all evil, the FTX, all evil, where, where these... These rhinos and these Democrats and all these evil corrupt politicians and lawmakers and policymakers have their hand in the jar and are in bed with China and in Biden with demons and they are stealing money, trying to destroy the economy, sending billions of dollars for transgender LGBTQ studies, releasing drag queens across the earth. What are these evil people doing? So remember, it is a fight for money, it is a battle and a war for economy, trying to destroy the oil in America, the oil connection, the supply, so that we are now depleted of oil. What does that mean? That means now China becomes a superpower. And do you see what's going on in China right now? Do you see what's going on in China? The revolution. I mean, I think a few days ago, they were bringing in tanks into China because the people are sick and tired and fed up with the communist regime of, of, of Prime Minister Xi, President Xi, sick and tired of the evil communist regime that is keeping people locked in in quarantine camps, locked up, there's a people rising. There's a remnant rising. There's a revolution taking place all across the earth, in Israel, in Iran, Brazil, America, China, hallelujah. I said, hallelujah, Shh, there is a revolution. 
taking place all across the earth. So the financial drainage where the enemy has been stealing money from you, taxing you, destroying your economy, closing your doors of opportunity, of streams of income. It's coming to an end right now. I declare fire on every witch. I declare fire on every Jezebel. I declare fire upon every single demonic entity spirit that is trying to deplete, drain your finances. Every locust spirit, canker worm, grasshopper, palmer worm, decree fire in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. So the fourth area that God is removing, God's removing the financial drainage in your life. The financial poverty, financial drainage in your life. And some of us, we have excess spending. Maybe you do not need to buy those things for Christmas. Maybe you do not need to be caught up with the false consumer commercialism of Christmas and you don't need to buy this. Come on, you gotta be led by the Lord. Some of your credit cards, plastic cards are maxed out to the T. Guys, we need better stewardship and management of money, amen? Someone said, preach Dr. Ben. Let me tell you friends, God is about to remove the financial drainage of your life. Number five, I want you to hear this. The fifth area that God is removing. He's re releasing a spirit of removal in this area. Lastly, last but not least, la last for today, I'm giving you five realms areas, but he's re removing all across the earth. But the fifth area, I declare, God is removing corruption in the earth realm and government. Corruption in the earth realm and government. The Bible says in the book of Romans, the earth groans, groans and moans for the manifestation of the sons of God. The earth is groaning for the sons of God to rise up. Do you know what that means? Volcano eruptions, earthquakes, the earth, the literal earth, the ground, the blood of Jesus cries out louder than the blood of Abel. So the Lord is allowing the earth to begin to moan and groan, which means friends, hear me now, there is a removal of evil, corruption, wickedness in the earth because the earth realm, the earth has experienced so much abortion, uh, manslaughter, the killing of babies, innocent bloodshed, sin, immorality, witchcraft in the land. So therefore there is an eruption. There is earthquakes, hurricanes. I want you to hear this. There, I believe this coming year, we're gonna see more volcanic eruptions. I'm here in Hawaii. There were two volcanic eruptions just last week. And I've been prophesying about the volcano erupting and being a sign, a spiritual and a natural sign. But I believe this coming year, more things are gonna hit the fan. There will be more and more exposure, falling, and justice. More and more exposure, falling, and justice. Jezebel will fall from her high and lofty tower. The higher the fall, the, the higher you go, the greater the fall. And these Babylonian demons are building up towers like the Tower of Babel to be God to reach the heavens. The higher it goes, the greater the fall. I believe, friends, we are going to see a removal. A removal. Come on, somebody. A removal of evil, corrupt laws, policies on the earth. Abortion is being removed in California. Abortion is being removed in Hawaii, in Colorado. So there is a removal. Also, there is a removal, hallelujah. There is a removal. And of course, I think there was an earthquake even in Mexico recently too. But there's also a removal 
of evil, corrupt people in the government. That's number five. Number five, there is a removal of evil and corruption in the world and in the government. So suddenly, Anthony Fauci will become nothing. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Gavin Newsom, Pelosi, Loki. Suddenly, these people will become nothing. I feel the fire and the fear of the Lord right now. I prophesy as a man of God, there is a divine removal coming to the governments of the earth. To every high seat and a high place, there is a removal coming right now. And I'm telling you, friends, in this season, as we're about to close 2022, as we're in Kislev, Hanukkah, what happened in Hanukkah? They removed the Cilician army. They removed the evil tyranny of government that was over the Jewish people. They removed. Every hand of evil that is set up against you will be removed. Every arrow and dart of attack and accusation will be removed. Every evil dictator, ruler, corrupt politician will be removed. Jesus. Anything that is not of the Lord, rooted in God, it will be removed. Get ready for removal. I declare a removal in your life. I declare a removal. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, my friends. Begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. Because I believe in the next three months, in the next three months, we're going to see great shakings in the governments of the earth. And there's going to be a great removal, a great changing of the guard. My God, I feel the fear of God. I feel my spirit going off like alert, alert. I'm telling you, friends, I just released a word right now in the spirit realm. But I feel my spirit going alert, 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 alert right now. Because by the spirit of prophecy, by the word of utterance, by the Nabi flow, as I released that word, I felt in my spirit the next three months, we need to be on guard. We need to be watchful and in prayer. Because in the next three months, there's going to be a lot of removal, a lot of shaking. And hear me now, friends, all the way up to Purim, which is in February, all the way up to Purim, there's going to be a removal of Vashtis so that the new Esters could arise. My goodness. So keep your hands clean. Keep your hearts pure, your eyes, your mind. Keep yourself consecrated in the glory of God. Because in the next three months, as the eyes of the Lord search to and fro, God is going to begin to remove the Vashtis so that the Esthers can arise with Purim power and Purim recompense. Some say recompense. I'm telling you, friends, Vashti and Esther, that is a governmental realm. That is a governmental, a kingdom anointing. A kingdom anointing. So in the next three months, all the way up to Purim, that's the word of the Lord. I feel it so strong. In the next three months, we are going to see Vashti's fall and Esther's rise. That is a governmental kingdom realm. So the governments of the world, we're going to see shaking, shifting, and we are also going to see removals and the new breed is going to move in. Someone say amen. Listen, I want to pray for your friends. If you're with me today, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. I want you to give us some hearts and likes. I want you to say amen. Glory be to God. If this word ministered to you today, if you're saying, Dr. Pastor Benham, this is the word of the Lord today, I want you to say amen. Continue to pray in the spirit. Give some hearts and likes right now. Let's build up the atmosphere before I release a prayer over your life. If this word was for you, say it was for me. If this word made sense to you, bore witness to you, and if you receive it, I want to say I receive it. Glory, glory, glory. A great removal is coming. 
a great removal is coming. Thank you, Relina Rascon, for being a subscriber. By the way, friends, you can subscribe to our Facebook page. Amen. It's a, it's a way of partnering. It's a way of being a partner to me and to our ministry. Hallelujah. Especially here on Facebook. Amen. John Bear, my Mongolian son, says it was for me. Prophetess Chelsea, good to see you. It was for you. Felipe, for you. Hallelujah. Rabba Bo Sata. God is removing. Hallelujah. And suddenly, it will be nothing. Suddenly, what was great and large will become nothing. The lion will suddenly become a chihuahua. Jesus. Wesley Cove, God bless you. Glora Baba Brosata. Jesus. Lift up your hands, friends. Lord, I thank you for the sudden removal. One day it was bothering you. The next day it will never come near you again. One day it was bothering you. The next day, today, you will never remember it or think about it ever again. Lord, I release the power of God. Touch your people, Lord. Touch your people, Lord. Some of you just need to repent. I feel the spirit of repentance. Just repent before God right now. Just repent before the Lord right now. Hallelujah. Just get your heart right before God. Just get your heart right before Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Evangelist Gary says, for me, ye, ye, ye. Antoinette, God bless you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, he's wiping the slate clean. He is decluttering your table, your mind, your heart. Jesus on the mountain. Shout Jesus in the streets. Shout Jesus in the valley. Shout Jesus in me. Shout Jesus in the mountain. Jesus. Sunday. Somebody shout Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, la 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 by Jesus. Wow, wow. <clears throat> and today is December seventh. Today is December seventh. So today is a day of perfection and completion. Amen. Today is a day of perfection and completion. I want you to repeat this afternoon. Say, Jesus has completed everything in my life. It's done. It's done and it's finished. This is a day of perfection and completion. Jesus. Rabo Sama Torah Brata Taravlata. Raska tarabranda rabrosa tarabrata. Resco tarabranda rosha tarablata tarabrata. Jesus, Jesus, how I love you. Jesus, Jesus, love you more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, how I long to love you more. How I long. To love you more. Someone say hallelujah. My goodness. Well, friends, in this moment, I feel like I want to open up a time for you to sow. If you're with me today, thank you, John, for being a subscriber. God bless you. Friends, I want to open up a time for you to sow in this moment. My goodness. If you feel the grace and the glory of God, say amen. Amen. And I want to open up an opportunity for you to sow. 
I really feel it so strong. And remember, I pray. I'm always in prayer. But I'm always in prayer about which broadcast we should open up for people to sow. And let me tell you, today's broadcast was so juicy. <laughs> like a juicy steak. It is the word of the Lord. And if you're saying, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, this word was for me. This, this word is a word for me. If you're saying that today, hallelujah. And if you're saying that's for me, I want you to sow. Amen. I want you to sow. And in fact, while well, thank you, Prophet Alana, today, December 7th, is actually the Pearl Harbor Day of Remembrance. It's the day of Pearl Harbor Remembrance. Wow. Yeah, whenever I'm here in this time of the year, it's always... Wow, so today, my goodness, I just felt divine alignment right now. Today is the 81st year anniversary of Pearl Harbor. And I'm here in Hawaii. December 7th, 1941 is the day of the attack of Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, United States. Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, United States. And, the, and today is the 81st. Wow. Someone say, preach, Dr. Ben. I'm going somewhere. Today is the 81st, your anniversary of the Pearl Harbor attack. 81st. And as it's the 81st, hear me now. Psalm 81. Psalm 81 for the 81st year. Ah, ah, ah. This is good. Psalm 81, verse 6. I removed the burden from their shoulders. Their hands were set free from the basket. In your distress, you called and I rescued you. I answered you out of a thundercloud. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. The Bible says, Psalm 81, verse 6. I removed the burden from their shoulders. Some say removed. God is removing the burden from your shoulders. Psalm 81, verse 6. And today... It's the 81st year anniversary of Pearl Harbor here in Hawaii. Glory be to God. Amen. Friends, I want you to sow. Miss Dolores, let's put up the link to sow. Wow, that's divine alignment. You cannot make that up. You cannot make that up. So if you want to sow, I want you to say amen. And as you sow, I want you to comment, it is finished. It's finished. I want you to comment, it's finished. Amen. Come on, sow with faith and honor and expectation. Hallelujah. So with faith, honor, and expectation. Hallelujah. If you receive this word today, I want you to give back to the Lord, and I want you to give back to the man of God, the work of God, as an act of worship and a response, saying, Father, I receive this, and it is so, it is well, and it is done. So I want you to comment, it is finished, as you sow, amen. Only so, only so, if you believe this is the word of the Lord, amen. Ephraim Secret Diaz, God bless you. Ashley Castillo, God bless you. Sonia Kodak, God bless you. Tamara, God bless you. Felipe, God bless you. Gertrude, God bless you. DC, God bless you. Lisa Lopez, God bless you. Hallelujah. Vicky Loco, God bless you. Shella, God bless you. Hallelujah. Becky Weaver, God bless you. Elise Puder, God bless you. Sheila Rubio, God bless you. Kimberly, God bless you. Sharon, God bless you. We got about 200 people here. Come on, friends. Sonia, God bless you. Give back to the Lord here. Alice, God bless you. Candace, God bless you. Dana Elizabeth, God bless you. This is the word of the Lord. Connie Perez, God bless you. Lily, God bless you. Child of Most High, God bless you. Jesus. I mean, you can't make that stuff up. Today is the 81st year anniversary of Pearl Harbor. 
and according to Psalm 81 verse 6, the Bible says he has removed the burdens from our shoulders. It's about to get light. It's about to be easy. Amy, God bless you. Barbara, God bless you. Wesley Cover, God bless you. Jesus. Vanessa, God bless you. Yvonne, God bless you. Jesus at the center of it all. From beginning to the end. Monica Moe, God bless you. It will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Come on, continue to sow for another minute or so. Rest from A, God bless you. Wherever you're watching from, let your seed go before you and before the throne of God. Rebecca, God bless you. God is removing every obstruction and hindrance of demonic attack in your life. Erling, God bless you. Rababosa Tarabrata. Rhonda, God bless you. From our hearts to the heavens, Jesus be the same. Do you know how I know I'm rested? Is when my singing voice is good or strong. It may not be good, but it's strong. Sonia, God bless you. Joy, Patricia David, God bless you. Hallelujah. It's coming, it's coming. Rababosa tarabrande de dosa. Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Amen, Jody Chetty. It's finished. I need deliverance from smoking cigarettes. It's finished. Shoo. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Yolanda, God bless you. Rababa sete. Rababa. Laura, God bless you. Jesus. Anthony Carabayo, God bless you, my friend. Thank you, Lord. Rababa Satarada. Stacy, God bless you. Rydal, God bless you. My goodness, who feels the glory of God today? I'm so glad you helped me to finish the word because I'm telling you, it's like birthing, you know, it's birthing. Releasing the word of the Lord. There's always attack against it. Thank you, Melissa Shu, for being a subscriber. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, everybody, for sowing as the Lord has led you. Amen. Let's give the Lord a clap. Thank you so much. By the way, friends, I want to remind you, tonight I am ministering in Hawaii. If you're in the Hawaii State Islands, come and see me. Thank you, Elaine Mason. God bless you. I am ministering uh, eight days in the next 14, I don't know how many days. I can't count. I am ministering eight days in the next 12 days, 12 days. So come and see me. And also friends, today and tomorrow, like I said in the beginning, I have a show with Dr. Jen Malin on Christian Television Network. Come home with Jen, come home with Jen. And we talk about, in my two programs, two different shows, we talk about number one, uh, the new breed that God's raising up, which is based on my book called The New Breed. So if you have not purchased, if you do not have a copy of my book, I strongly, strongly suggest for you to buy it. Do you know why? Because that book was birthed out of a revival. And that book is a revival manual for those uh, who want to go deeper in the glory of God and in Revival, and if you believe you're a part of the new breed, you need to go and purchase that book. So go ahead and purchase that. You could go so at amazon.com or on our website, benlamglobal.com. But the first show with Come Home with Jen, it is today. 
Amy Muirhead said, it's a great book. Thank you so much. Melissa Shu says, thank you for your tormenting, monitoring spirits teaching. Amen. God bless you. So make sure you catch the shows with Come Home With Jen, which is today and even tomorrow. Today and tomorrow. Come Home With Jen, with Jen, Dr. Jen Malin on Christian Television Network, CTN. Amen. So uh, praise God. And thank you, Miss Dolores, for posting. Everybody, let's give Dolores some hearts and likes. Come on, let's encourage her so she feels the love today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Rabakanda Rabronda. Amen. There it comes. There it comes. Amen. Who is grateful for Dolores? Amen. She is a great, great woman of God, friend, and asset to our ministry. Where would we be without her? Juan Martinez, thank you for being a subscriber. But friends, um, if you have not yet purchased this book called The New Breed, go and buy it. Go and purchase it. We have pinned the link in the comment group, the new breed of reformers, revivalists, and wonder workers. Wonder working workers. Amen. So it will change your life, my friends. Amen. Thank you so much, everybody. I love you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. And expect a removal to suddenly take place in your life. Suddenly, they will disappear right before your very own eyes. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Please do consider becoming a subscriber and sharing this broadcast. And also give us a like. Give this page a like, a follow, and do consider following us on all of our other social media platforms on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, even Clubhouse, and of course here on Facebook. I cannot wait to see you again soon. It's Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, one of your favorite prophetic voices. It is an honor to minister the word of the Lord to you. And I believe in miracles because I believe in God. Amen. Love you all. God bless you. Aloha from Hawaii. And I will see you soon. Shalom.